tell if it's streaming or not. How much is our lag? Can you fix it? Double check. Yeah, it's fine. It's loading. So I don't know if you can see me because on my end it's a little bit frozen, but what's up guys, this is Eddie Kovac, this is Casa de Kovac, so I am uh, here tonight, um, Tuesday, we're all dealing with this freaking crazy coronavirus, and um, my son's checking in right now, we are live, alright, so cool, so I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a broadcast on my end, which is okay, um, but uh, we're here, uh, in Denver, Colorado tonight. I really want to thank because see who else we got online. Okay, so Amy's here. What's up, Amy? Um, uh, let's see, Josh, uh, Josh Blake. Look at my boy Josh. I haven't seen him in a long time. So in case you guys didn't put that, in case you guys can't see that, I have this TV over here just on my right hand side. And um, this is uh, my first live stream. Uh, I did a private lesson with a, a, a young lady in Utah yesterday. Got me thinking like, hey, everybody's doing this thing now. Let me do a live stream now. So this is the live stream for Tap Dancers, uh, Tap Dancers Hub. Tap Dancers Hub is kind of my uh, pet peeve, my pet project. Um, and so tonight I wanted to come on and just spend some time uh, kind of throwing out there for the, for the, the, you know, kind of for the, the community itself. Um, tonight I'm going to spend some time like really working on time steps. Um, and so I'm just kind of waiting for a few minutes. I've got a few people that I know that are coming on. Um, but uh, one of the things I will encourage you guys to do, um, if you don't have one, go grab a notebook, because um, I'm going to kind of throw this out there at a quick pace. You'll see that I got a set up with two cameras, and so the, I got a camera on my feet, got a camera on top. Um, I'm going to encourage you guys to go ahead and, and engage with me uh, through chat. Um, and that way, if you have any questions um, that I can answer, I can go ahead and answer those. Let me turn this around here real quick. All right, cool. All right. So, hey, okay, let me see your phone real quick. All right, cool, we'll see. All right, so yeah, I'm just looking at my son's phone because I'm trying to see what this actually looks like. Um, oh, obviously, I got to step back a little bit. Cool, here you go, buddy. Thanks. All right, so um, I guess where I really wanted to start is maybe to take everybody kind of through the way that I do my warm up. Um, here, let me do something real quick, and I'm going to refresh my screen, you know I'm not, because if I do that, it'll strip a lot, never mind. Alright, so, again, I can't really see, uh, I can't really see the screen, so let me turn this around, that way, let me look for the room there, and yeah, perfect, okay, cool. Alright, so, again, I'm going to, I'm going to throw, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to basically start with my warm up, and what I do with my kids. Uh, nice and easy, use the toes. Hey, Carly's online. So every time you guys see me looking to the right, I got the TV right here, you know? Um, so that's what's, uh, that's what I keep looking at. Um, it's not a distraction. Um, and so that's just me checking out what the audience is doing here online. Hey, Trish, here's Foster, I see you. Thanks for coming in, I appreciate it. So what I got going on right here, I'm just starting before I do my warm up. So when I do my warm up, I just do toes and heels, toes and heels and toes and heels. Now this one I learned actually from a video that I got from Casey Chandler a long time ago. Um, it was one of the ones that he put out. Um, and so this is basically just how I start my warm up. So toes and heels and toes. Two and two. So if you have questions, don't be afraid to fire them off. Alright, we're gonna go shuffle. Level. It's 
you guys have. It doesn't really matter. Nice even in tempo. Usually I use a uh, easy tough with long to do this. It's a nice even goes all the way through. We're going to go three. Thank you. 
the, the one the uh, one song warm up that I do um, again. A few years ago, I saw many years ago. A few years ago, many years ago, um, I got a DVD uh, that uh, Jason Samuels has put out, and um, as a matter of fact, I ran into it. Ran again. Came across this the other day. Looked through an old CD. It's like oh, it's close. I forgot about that. But anyway, that's a warm up that he showed in that video. And I thought it really worked really well, so I kind of got to it. It's not mine. I didn't have that on. I don't know it, but uh, um, it kind of comes off of the city condos rudiments. Um, I think it's really important that we know kind of where we come from and where we're going. Teresa, I see you. Julia Brown, thank you, Clement. Uh, Eric, so again, every time I see you guys, since you've been going this way, guys, uh, I got a TV right here on the wall, so I can see your comments. Um, Want well, to thank my son. So this layout that we've got with the uh, movie in the, the upper screen and my river floor logo on there. And if you see on my feet, um, if you can see the dinosaurs, the, the Frankenstein that I got set up around me, you probably know that. So anyway, that's my normal goal, Max. That's my normal goal. Um, uh, from there, uh, I go into time steps. And so the key, to, the key thing that I was looking for when I did that, and, and the time steps that I did was really kind of part of my warm up. So um, we talked about time steps in two past me personally, and the way that I learned it. Um, again, I, I've taken class from Tony Coppola, um, you know, when he was with Jermaine, uh, Lori Johnson, uh, Ben Vereen, uh, I mean, took a class with Jerry Grimes. I've had a lot of classes with a lot of different people. Um, and when it comes to time steps, which is really kind of what I want to focus on tonight, um, when it comes to time steps, I just use traditional time step instead of hopping on the uh, stomp, stomp hop step, uh, flat, uh, flat wall changes, flat step stomp. Um, I start on the hop uh, just because of some other time steps that I could do. Um, a lot of times you'll hear people talk extremely about you have to start your time steps on eight. Then that's true in the traditional sense, but at the same time, it's kind of too simple for thought. I'm more of a person that likes to start on one, so I start on my hop on one. So uh, when you talk about single time step, hop step, and lateral change, the way I say it, and I maybe kids say this too, so teachers, if you, if you are out there and you're listening, one of the things that is really, really important, two things that, two things that are really important, really, sorry. Um, one, make sure that your kids have a normal look. And two, make them say what they're doing. We say, I call that the we say method. I call it a lot of conventions and there's a lot of teachers that really kind of practice that and deal with the period and say, we say, and they'll just start wrapping up the steps um, and scatter it out also. And so there's a couple of methods, but when, when, I have, when I'm first teaching my kids how to do these, I make them really try to say the step as they're doing it. So, um, we're going to single double triple, hot step, the lateral change, hot, the lap, the lateral change, hop, shuffle step, the lateral change. We're going to do them all at the course. So you're going to start on your depth, so hot, step, lateral change, hot, step, lateral change, hot, step, lateral change, hot, step, shuffle. Again, I use a song by k that's called um, Bang Bang in parentheses, She Shot Me. Um, it's actually pretty cool. It's kind of upbeat. Um, it makes these steps a little bit faster, and then I start tying it in. Now, when it comes to uh, double, triple time, double time steps, so double single time steps, there's a couple of ways to pull that off. You can pull it off the pickup. You can hit on that stump. You can pull it off of that pickup on the front. Um, I like to pull it off the hop. So again, throwing that pick up, um, throwing that pick up, I heard my name yesterday, throwing that pick up on that foot, on that pick up foot, the supporting leg, that gives you that double. Um, I like to do rolling, so as I, as I pull it back on the, uh, after the ball chase, I like to do a kind of a rolling pull back, but instead of setting that foot down, I like to do the hand, so. You kind of get a little bit of a sputter there. Gives you a little bit of an extra sound. So when you do the uh, the pullback, so you pick it up on the front foot, pull back. Sorry, pull back on the bottom foot, pick up on the the, the, the front foot. Kind of gives you a triple. Um, those are really cool. Um, 
The wing time step kind of comes off the same thing. And no, I'm not doing wing time steps. So, because this ankle is all kinds of floppy. Um, it doesn't, it's not very happy right now. So, uh, but the, the, the principle applies as you pull back or as you, as you kind of slow that throw your body weight into the air to get that, to get that wing off the supporting leg before you throw any of the other steps. Step, single wing, step, lateral change, all that stuff. That's an easy way to kind of get the single wing. And again, as you go, it's literally, um, as you come off that lateral change, you throw the wing here. So as you leave the ground, again, I'm not doing it, but as you leave the ground, throw that single wing, and you come down, you can double step the lateral change. Okay, um, and so those are the those are the what I call my wing time steps. Now, coming off the triple, and here's where I really wanted to kind of get into the nuts and bolts of tonight. Um, if you have a if you have a notebook, um, I would hey Wendy, what's going on? I see you and Emma. We're getting some people in here. Nice. We've got a kind of a full a full room. Let's see who we got. See, Trisha, I saw Trisha come in. Uh, Ricky, you're in here. Uh, let's see, Diana, no, Diana's in here, Drew, I'm curious, I'm so, so, so here. Lisa French, Lisa French's daughter, oh my god, you guys, this is hilarious. Lisa French's daughter, when I first started teaching her last year, was a mess, right? She would come into the room, just full on meltdown, love this room of the dead, had to overcome a lot of anxiety in her because she's such a perfectionist. She's my little project, and so if you ever catch my videos, and you see the little girl, people are commenting about her, the little girl with the pink, uh, pink tights. That's Lisa French's daughter. So Lisa, your, your daughter just became, uh, your daughter just became a baby. So, um, all right, so let's see. Uh, Stacy is, Stacy um, is from uh, Pontiac, Illinois. I was up there, uh, up there in January with her kids and in the mom's studio. So thank you for being here. Um, Teresa uh, is from, California, I believe. Uh, if I remember correctly, that's where Chris is from. Uh, and Melissa, my girl Melissa, I knew you were coming. Melissa is one of my solid aces. She's got an amazing studio, uh, intrepid dance studio in uh, Minneapolis. Uh, so that's really awesome for her. Um, uh, Kristen, uh, Kristen Christie. Um, I don't remember where you're from, but I know you talked to you, I don't remember where you're from. And Cindy Kane, I just want to recognize that you guys are here. Uh, Emma, uh, thanks for joining us. Wendy, 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 as I said, oh my god, this woman, she just had a birthday. Um, she is the uh, the owner and director of the Utah Tap Festival, which is so cool and so kind to have me out, um, which really kind of kickstarted my Tap Festival. Um, we're having our Tap Festival, my high school Tap Dance Festival, is happening in the uh, first weekend in August. Um, and we've got some little new people coming out, so shameless plug there, but you're, you're, on, my, you're on my time. So, um, and then, let's see, Robin, you're here, thanks so much for being here. Uh, oh, Isabel from the Dance Center. Oh, hey, what's going on? So glad that you're here. So the Dance Center is where I was at with, uh, with Stacy's daughter, and then uh, Colette. I don't know that I know you, Colette. I would love to hear you talk and say something. All right, so back to time step. So when we talk about triple time step, the next time step that I want to talk about is what I call a really it's just a simple sinking patient time step. So let's talk about sinking patient for a second. Sinking patient is when you add a sound where one doesn't belong, or when you take the sound from where it should be, right? Sinking patient. So the next the next time step that I like to teach my students is a really easy sinking patient time step because once you kind of start, right? Really, it's kind of kind of thing that you can do that. So the next the next uh. Uh, the next time step that I teach is a simple singing game time step where it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, um, you're going to do hop, shuffle, step, and lap, hold. Write it down. Hop, shuffle, step, full lap, hold. Full lap, full lap, full lap, full lap, change. Hop, shuffle, step, full lap, hold. Full lap, full lap, full lap, full change. So we're going to start off with the left one. Hop, shuffle, step, full lap, hold. We're going to hold. We're going to do that hold. We're going to see that come down heavy. Kind of with a really heavy stare on my right foot. Okay, so do it again. Hot shuffle, step, left hold. Five, six, seven, and. Five, six, seven, and. So you can see that I got like my, my left foot off the ground right here. This is where the flat, flat, flat change comes in. Flat, flat. So you're going hot shuffle, step, left hold. Flat, flat, flat change. Five, six, seven, and. Right, six, seven, and. 
เบนิโอเรสิชาร์ดฟาดซิกเซนเอ็นอัลฟาดมาสักซิกเซนเอ็นอัลฟาดอัลฟาดอัลฟาดโอเชนเลสต์ตัวไรต์ฟาดซิกเซนเอ็นวันเราจะเริ่มที่ทางเส้นแล้วถ้าเราเอาไปย้อนกลับซิงเกิลทริปเปิลฟอร์ซิงเกิลทางเส้นแล้วถ้าเราคิดว่าเราเอาไปย้อนกลับซิงเกิลทางเส้นแล้วเราจะมีสองสี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่สี่Basically, right here, you're moving out one, two, one, eight, 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 or two, four, six, six. Go to six, eight, six, eight, eight. Sorry, six, eight, eight. We go to eight, eight, eight. The same thing in time steps. It's really you're already by tying the uh, time steps together like this. Four, 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 two. You end up with a full measure of music. So it looks like this. One, two, three, four. Go, go, go. Syncopated time step. So, Orlando, <laughs> Orlando is. Um, hey Nate, Nate here too. What's going on, Nate? I see you. Um, Nate is amazing, amazing young little chapper. I ran into, um, ran into at a convention uh, this year. Uh, super impressive. Can't wait to see what kind of goes on with him. Um, so, oh my God, Corey Simmons on here. Corey Simmons, I'm a man of business. Mr. Simmons was actually one of our karate instructors. Was the one was she was one of the karate instructors at the uh, social martial arts in Arvada, Colorado. When when uh, I was training with my son, um, Corey's son is uh, is either has recently graduated from the Merchant Marine Academy or is about to and get ready to go on to serve our country. So Corey, I just want to shout out to you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, okay, Orlando, I see you. Um, I hope your daughters are watching. I really do. All right, so going back to these time steps. So single, double, triple, uh, single, double, time step number two. Now I'm gonna have one more. We're gonna do the quad time step. And the way the quad time step works, you do hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, ball change. So doing it slow, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step. You don't come down on this foot. You're gonna use that as kind of a push. Ball change. So hop on the left foot, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step, hop, shuffle, step, shuffle, step. Now the rule applies for any of your traditional time steps, single, double, triple, quad. The rule applies two equals one eight count. So two equals one. So one, two, that's an eight count. Two, two, that's two eight counts. One, two, one, two, that's two eight counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, two. How I build my warm up. So uh, those are the. That's kind of the end of the road when I go into my traditional time steps. So as I'm doing it with my kids, this is again part of my warm up. So starting off with one arm up, you're doing this, right? When I talked about the very beginning, the shuffles. That's the extent. That's the first part of warm up. That's just kind of get blood flowing to the knees and then hits the ankles, um, helping the kids understand timing. This section of the warm up. Um, Deals with getting the cardio up, getting their blood pressure going, getting their heart rate going, getting that core temperature going, so that we're prepared for everything else that's coming. Now, the way that I do this is the way that I give the directive: single, double, triple, quad, all in four, syncopated time step for two, and then you repeat. The repeat is when you do the double, single, double, triple, quad, syncopated time step. On the third section, that's when you do the triple. Single, double, triple, quad. When you're doing any six, maybe times seven, when you get to the first, so basically the whole thing repeats twice, or the whole thing repeats three times. Um, depending on how the music flows, sometimes I'll take the the quad times out um, if there's an even break, so I don't have anything to make up. So it ends up being uh, six, eight, so it ends up being eight, 16, 20 more eight counts. 
when you do it all the way through. And again, the music that I use when I teach in it is um, from Kanon, uh, K, apostrophe, N, A, A, N. Uh, the song that I use is called uh, Bang Bang. In the parentheses, you're in the brackets, it's just shocking me. Um, and so, uh, um, that's why it's just a upbeat song, it's really easy to, it's really easy to kind of get your groove on. Um, now, when it comes to time steps, you can layer your time steps really nice. So if you have kids that are working on their doubles, don't have their trigger muscles, they're really soft on their doubles, and they're still working on it, they can stick with the doubles because the time step is a time step. Is a time step. That's why they call it time step because you can always just keep going. Now, a little trivia, and I'm going to throw this out. I always see some answers to this in here. So a little trivia. Who knows why we call them time steps? Who can say? Who can tell me why they call it a time step? So we keep eye on this, wait for the answer. I know we have a little bit of a lag, and that's okay. Now, the next time step that I like to teach these people, um, I call it a, it's a, a cramp roll time step. I call it an LA time step. This one's just really fun. Um, again, if you have a notebook, write it down. Um, you're going to do, um, uh, I start off with my foot here. Um, just because it makes it a little bit easier, you're going to go brush heel, fall back, jump roll, fall chain, jump roll, break roll, and then off this foot, fall back, fall chain. Now I do fall back, fall day instead of fall back, fall chain, so I go fall back, fall day, kind of drop my heel here because again, brush heel, fall back, jump roll, fall chain, jump roll, break roll, fall back, fall chain. Almost switched up, up the feet. So brush heel, fall back, jump roll, jump roll, break roll, fall back, brush heel, fall back. Um, the next one I like to teach you kind of in order is one that I created 
with Lisa Townsend at the Dance Center Colorado Springs in hmm, 2004, maybe? Um, it's how far this goes back. And uh, I think Melissa, you're going to love this one. Um, and so, Melissa, Melissa McCain, actually, I did this one. I put this one out on Facebook a while back. And then I saw her working on it and then saw it in some of her work. So, um, I, I was pretty excited about that. So, the Buffalo time step, again, if you're writing it down, this is Buffalo, Falat, 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 Sato, Hot, Falat, Sato, Hot. Now, the way that I build this is everybody kind of knows what the Buffalo is by this point. You can do full lap buffaloes. You can do full lap pickup buffaloes. So you can do all of those different steps, right? So you can do flat pickup buffaloes or slurp pickup buffaloes um, as well. So you can add all these different sounds with that work and leg, which makes it really nice. So once you kind of understand, like, your students know how to do buffaloes. They've been doing the cross form. Buffalo, 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 buffalo. Um, get them going buffalo, 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 buffalo. And what that will do is that will just basically make it so that they kind of understand the rhythm. Now, the second piece of this, the guts of it, is flat, 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 so hot, flat, so hot. So if I go buffalo to the left, my flat is going to go off the left of the first one. You go flat, 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 so hot, flat, so hot. That's going to pull me into the next buffalo. So it goes buffalo, flat, 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 so hot, flat, so hot. Now, because I'm going so fast sometimes, I'm up from here. If you've got really good discipline, your, your dancers are going to get here. However, as you speed this up, eventually what's going to happen if they're sloppy, they're going to crack themselves in the ankle. <laughs> and if they crack themselves in the ankle, I tell my students, if you crack yourself in the ankle because you're sloppy, you're going to laugh at you. So don't be, don't be shy to tell them, like, if you crack yourself in the ankle because you're sloppy, yeah, I'm going to laugh at you. So, buffalo, full lap, full lap, full lap, shuffle, hop, full lap, shuffle, hop. I'm going to do it three times. Buffalo. Start with the left foot. 
Right foot. Left foot. Repeat. Five, six, seven, and go. Again. Let's go through our foot. Six, seven, and.
there's a little second page turn if you keep on living, right? So right? So you can hit it down wherever you never stop. You can hit it with a stop, there's a lot of different ways to get that. Now, the more advanced way to do it is what I call 433, right? So you're going to do four paddles. Start with the right foot, you're going to do two chugs, so three flats, and then you're going to finish it off with three quick chugs. And then you're going to hit a paddle again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. So that's basically the, the fun time step. So when you hit just that one, one. Now, the way that I finish it off, right? So I'll come up here. Um, one, two, three. I'll hit this chug, right? Back a little bit. So I'll hit this chug. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'll hit this chug, one, a hole, and then I do a trolley jack break. Okay, so one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. Okay, so the trolley jack break. Full lap, heel, I'm going to do an eight count. Full lap, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, heel, 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 heel. So that goes full lap, heel, heel, brush, toe, or flap, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, brush, toe, ball, change. Now, when you start it on the two, one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, right? So, two, this is two, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, okay? So it looks like this. One, or you can do it quick. You can do it quick. Right? If you want to hold the button, boom! Right? So you can do this. Two, three, four. And five, and six, and seven, and eight. Right? So you can throw that same patient in there. So that looks like this. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Right? So that's how that one breaks down. So that's the phone time set. So all the time sets that I've covered for you tonight. Sixty minute time set. Sixty minute time set. I can fall through the Two mile walk um, all the way up to 
Uh, basically, the Denver Post building comes out right across the street from the uh, Capitol building. Um, but yeah, that's one of our landmarks. Um, so this picture, uh, uh, it, was, I, I, it, was a, it was a stock picture that I grabbed from Google, but it's one that I'm using on the website. So yeah, anyway, so I want to actually open it up. I'm going to spend a few more minutes. I kind of want to open up the questions for you guys and see what questions you might have for me um, so that we can kind of engage in this. I also want to know if this is something that you guys liked. Um, I know we're in the middle of this coronavirus, and this is the deal. I'm self quarantined. Um, my son was really, really sick uh, about a week ago, and for the previous weeks of that, I mean, coughing, sneezing, heavy fever, um, really, really bad. And then my daughter caught it, and she's been sick, coughing, fever, um, all of that. And so I we tried to go to the um, we tried to go to the pediatrician with my daughter, and they were like, well, we can't really test her because don't meet the criteria. Um, for testing, but let's just make an assumption that maybe she has it. Go ahead and self quarantine. So um, my, my family and I have been self quarantined. Um, this space right here, guys. This is my uh, this is my dance studio. Um, so on the wall here, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can do this. Like so on the wall here, I got my shoes, some some pictures, just some memorabilia. Uh, I have a shirt right here that uh, was actually signed by the, the 98s uh, Tap Dogs. Um, got to have a jam session with those guys on stage. Um, but this floor is in my basement. My son and I built it. If you go to my page, um, you can actually watch the five minute, um, uh, the five minute uh, time lapse uh, build out. Uh, my son did an incredible job of me on this. So um, this floor is built. Uh, it's got a little bit of a sub floor, but right on top of the concrete, so there's not a whole lot of cushions to it. Uh, but when you're not really bouncing around on it all the time, um, I just didn't feel like spending extra money on rubber rubber grommets that were necessary. And so, yeah, anyway, um, so I really want to thank you guys for spending time with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I really hope that, uh, that you got a lot out of it. I'm going to really make it through and just really quick. Let's take it straight like over here. Here we go. I'm going to drag it back down here. There we go. There we go. And we'll blow that up there. There. All right. Cool, cool. All right, so. Anyway, um, like I said, I'm really glad you guys spent some time with me tonight. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it, enjoy it, and I look forward to the next one. Looks like, uh, you know what, looks like we got a couple more visitors. Um, I'm going to sit right here for a minute and see if I'm going to unplug my phone and uh, see if you guys got any kind of any engagements here. Anything you guys want to talk about real quick for a few minutes? Um, steps for the bus stop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so. Oh my god, and I just unplugged my phone too. Okay, so the steps for the bus stop. Um, yeah, that's a good one. All right, so I uh, let me move this camera down. So I'm going to set this camera down here on the floor. Um, there we go. All right, let me go here. Let me move that up. All right, so steps for the bus stop, just because I just disconnected. So real quick breakdown for steps for the bus stop. You're going to do paradiddles. One, two, three, four. So paradiddles, right? So now the break, you're going to do two paradiddles. One, this is my right foot. So you're going to go one and two and three and four and then you're going to go dig, brush, heel, shuffle, heel, step, heel. Dig, brush, heel, shuffle, heel, step, heel. So that looks like this. Paradiddle, paradiddle, dig, brush, heel, shuffle, heel, step, heel. Left foot. Paradiddle, paradiddle, dig, brush, heel, shuffle, heel, step, heel. One, two, Brush, heel, shuffle, heel, step, heel. One, two, big brush, heel, shuffle, heel, step, heel. Now, here's where the break comes in. So after you do it twice, right foot, left foot, right? Now you're going to do shuffle, shuffle. Big brush, heel, shuffle, heel, step, heel. Big brush, heel, shuffle, heel, step, heel. Paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. 
left foot, right? So, right foot all the way through. One, two, three, four, heel step, heel step, heel. Two, two, three, heel. One, uh, sorry, let me start up our move. So, one, two, three, four, heel step, heel step, heel. One, two, three, four, heel step, heel step, heel. Shuffle. So that, hope that, hope that helps. That was a real quick breakdown. Let me see if I can make sure this doesn't fall over. That was a real quick breakdown of the bus stop. So the bus stop goes, um, dig, brush, heel, or sorry, uh, dig, brush, step, heel, dig, brush, step, heel, dig, brush, heel, shuffle, heel, step, heel, dig, brush, step, heel, dig, brush, step, heel, dig, brush, heel, shuffle, heel, step, heel. Dig brush heel, dig brush heel, shuffle heel, step heel, dig brush heel, shuffle heel, step heel, dig brush step heel, dig brush step heel, dig brush heel, step heel, stomp, clap. Other side, dig brush step heel, dig brush step heel, dig brush heel, shuffle heel, step heel, dig brush step heel, dig brush step heel, dig brush heel, shuffle heel, step heel, dig brush heel, dig brush heel, shuffle heel, step heel, dig brush heel, shuffle heel, step heel, paradiddle, 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 stomp, clap. So does that answer your question? Does that help? Does that make it a little bit easier? Oh, that's awesome, Trace. Thank you so much. I'm glad that Allie got something out of it. Um, again, you guys, if you have any questions, if this was something you guys want to see again, by all means, please let me know. Um, otherwise, uh, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and hit it right here. Um, I really just want to thank you guys for coming out. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other questions that... Oh, I got this one earlier. Um, the shoes that I wear. So, um, I had a long door, so I'm taking my shoes off. I had a long time... Uh, um, I was a long time been, uh, Miller and Ben's wear. So these right here, these are Miller and Ben's. Um, and so for a long time, I wore nothing but Miller and Ben's. Uh, those shoes lasted me 12 years. And then uh, tragically, right about Thanksgiving, the uh, shank came through the bottom of one of the shoes. So I'm now wearing the Capizio K543s. Um, I've seen a lot of people with these. Um, and everybody that had them, I loved the sound. Um, all the way from little, uh, you know, little young teenagers all the way up to adults. So um, I decided to go ahead and give these a shot. And I really like the way they sound. Hopefully you guys, you guys can hear me tonight. Um, and it wasn't too loud to me out. But um, that's the other question that I get. Um, last thing before I go, Mahai City Tap Dance Festival is coming August 1st and 2nd uh, this year. We're going to be hosting it at um, Motion Dance Center in, High in Littleton, Colorado. Uh, if you're in Little, if you're in Colorado, it's right off of a university and county line, um, right off of C470, so it's super easy to get to. Um, if you guys are planning on coming in from out of state, um, let me know. I'm working on getting, um, I'm working on getting hotel information. There's a lot of hotels up and down that strip, so I'm looking, I'm working on getting hotel information and seeing what we can do about getting like a, a block room rate or a group room rate. So um, working on that, but. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, the Eddie Kovac. Um, and then go ahead and follow and, and like the uh, Mile High City Tap Dance Festival page as well. Um, thank you for all of you that, of you guys that jumped on the uh, uh, tap, uh, tap Dancers Hub. Again, that's my baby. Go through the units. There's a lot of stuff in there. Um, I'm not quite sure how this records or how it saves, um, but I'm going to see what I can do. And if I can, if I can kind of pull it and piece it apart and then drop it into some of the units, then I'll do that as well. Uh, but give me some feedback, guys. I really want to know if you like this content. I really want to know if there's um, like what the next one's going to look like. Because um, if this is something that's popular and we can get kick it off every week, then you know I'll do like a little blast like this every week, and I'd love to see you guys here.